Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going pop hunting again. Now what we're doing today, of course, there's a motorcycle. Well, we got something cool in the video. Um, today, guys, we are going over to a bunch of different stores. Now, if you guys didn't see Wasatch Pops' video, he went to Hallmark, and they had Avengers Endgame Pops, which means there is a Hallmark that we don't normally go to, um, which is a, li away. a little bit farther away. It's kind of like down by the Barnes & Noble over there, so we're gonna be going down there um, to see if they have any of the Avengers Endgame Pops, because I wanna look for like Thanos, Ant-Man, um, I think they had Nebula, and then there was, I think, one more. So we're gonna see if they have them, because I'm guessing Hallmark doesn't really have a street date thing when they're supposed to be out on the 31st, so we're gonna be getting them a little early. Also, I wanna go over to GameStop to pre-order a couple Pez protectors, because Funko made pop protectors, now they're making Pez protectors as well, so that's really cool. Um, we'll see what's new over there. Maybe they'll have a couple more Pez. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's get started. All right guys, so our first stop is, ironically, GameStop. All right guys, so here is the pop section back here. They've got a bunch of really cool ones that I'm noticing. Um, they do have like the Vault Dweller uh, Mail, which isn't new, but they do have Nerd Rage. Um, these ones are the new ones. So they've got Rad Toad out here, which is pretty funny actually. It's, it's kind of disgusting, but there he is. Um, we've got Mole Miner and then Strength as well. This is a really cool one. I've never seen a pop with muscles, um, so that's pretty new. Funko, you did some pretty good sculpting on that. Um, but then they also have the ultimate unboxing box. Now I have four of them up over on the counter over there um, And we're gonna be getting two green ones and two Purple ones and then so we're gonna be opening those up on the channel later. They are Funko done. They're only $9.99 each so not even that expensive. Um, they do have general RAM up here again. Um, that's a really neat one I like that one a lot, um, but yeah guys other than that um, nothing for the pops. They did a get supervillain um, DC Deluxe Catwoman in, that's new. And then they also have Jim Lee and Batman and Joker. So those are neat. And then we also have some Game of Thrones ones up here, like the uh, the uh, throne, you know, on the throne. Um, and then we've got a bunch of Pez up here, and they did get some new Pez in, which I will be showing you off right now. I put them over here so I can show them nice off. They've got Beast in, and they got Harry Potter, and then Dobby. They don't have any of the other ones from this set, um, but I will be picking up these three today, and I will be trying to pre-order a couple of the Pez protectors. So anyways guys, let's keep going. All right guys, so this is the first time we've ever um, hunted at Hallmark in the videos, but let's go in and see if they've got those Avengers Endgame Pops. All right guys, so I'm in the store right now. It's actually kind of quiet in here, but they don't have them. I know, so they don't actually have any Pops. He said if they do, it'd be more like seasonal stuff, so there's nothing real seasonal for Easter, I'm guessing, unless they got peeps in. Um, but other than that, guys, sorry I'm whispering, but uh, it's kind of quiet in here. So anyways, guys, let's go over to the next store, probably Barnes & Noble. All right, guys, we made it to Barnes & Noble. Nice. What are you looking for today, Mom? Um, I'm looking for the vinyl two-pack of Dumbo. Oh, right. Anyways, guys, let's go in and see if they have it. All right, guys, so we're kind of digging around a bit. I do see the Captain Crunch pop. That's pretty cool. Um, they do have also an Alien Pocket pop. That's also neat. Um, but I don't see the vinyl that she's looking for. I mean, we came here to look just to see if they would have it. Again, I'm also looking for Emerald City Comic Con stuff to see if they have any of that left. Hansel and Greedo's neat. Um, that's cool. Um, Ripley and Spacesuit. That's the first time I've seen that in person. But yeah, I'm not seeing any of the vinyls that she's looking for. Again, this is just one spot. Um, they have Fred from Scooby-Doo. This one's a really neat one. Of course, it's going to be damaged if it's here because it's an old figure, but still pretty neat. Um, what was the one that I saw that I wanted to show you guys? I saw it a second ago. Where did it disappear? Hold on. Dumbo, I think it was on this side. Evan from Superbad, you don't see that at, at all, really. Uh, where is it? Where did it go? Anyways, guys, I don't know where it disappeared to, but if I see it, I'll let you guys know. I actually don't know. Huh. Anyways, guys, let's keep going. I'll see if I can find the other vinyls or maybe something else cool. Okay guys, so over here, they don't have anything that we're looking for, or at least they don't have your vinyl that you're looking for, but they do have the Tin Man and Cowardly Lion, which you have coming, so we're not going to be picking this one up yes. today. We're so we're not going to be able to get that one, but she does want to take a photo for Instagram. Um, we are again still looking for the vinyl. I don't see it over here. I do see Agritsuko. Um, that's pretty cool. But yeah, no... No vinyls yet for the ones that we're digging around for. Um, but we'll keep looking and see what else we can find. Ooh, Mego. Hey, I've been looking for that one, but I'm not gonna pick it up because I'm waiting for something else. You'll see. All right, guys, so over in the back over here, I don't see um, any of the vinyls that my mom's looking for. They do have more of the Tin Man and Cowardly Lion, though. That's neat. Um, but you're not, again, picking it up today because of it's coming in the mail. Um, but yeah, they do have some all right ones. I mean, it's not great back here. I mean, they do have some neat figures. They do have Hermione Granger on the uh, sorting hat, with the sorting hat on the stool, that's neat. 
They also have Ron Weasley on, with Sorting Hat and Stool. Um, but yeah, other than that, they've got Noob Noob. We don't see that one too often. That one's pretty neat. But yeah, I mean, again, guys, like Avengers ones weren't supposed to come out for another two to three days. I think it was the 31st they were supposed to come out, so it's kind of like... I didn't expect to see them today at Hallmark, but I thought we would try because Wasatch Pop found them there. Um, so I think after this, we're going over to like FYE and Hot Topic over at the mall. Um, so that'll be fun. But anyways, guys, let's keep going. And if I see anything else here, I'll let you guys know. Before we get out of here, guys, I did run into some other Harry Potter stuff, which is pretty neat. I do like this three pack here. I'm probably not going to pick it up, but it is a cool Barnes & Noble exclusive. Um, they've got like Bendy doll down here. I don't know why that one's down here, but some other Harry Potter ones. And then they have some uh, rock candies up here. This is the exclusive Neville. Um, that one's neat, but yeah, because other than that, that seems to be about it for here. Loungefly. Hey, Loungefly bag of Hedwig. That's cool. And then a couple other pops. So, yeah, let's keep going. Guys, I'm not going to be picking it up today, but they do have the pop, which is exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con from Lord of the Rings over there. I can't see his name, but it's right, it's right there. Anyways, pretty cool. All right, guys, so we are now at Guitar Center. We heard that they now have Pop Rocks figures here, so we're going to go in and see if they have anything. All right, guys, so they do have them in here. There's actually a bunch of really cool stuff in here. They have, like, mugs and everything and, like, playing cards and stuff and stickers. Maybe we'll pick up Noah's sticker. He got me this one. We should get it. All right, um, so what do they have down here? They've got Lemmy Kilmster slash Kurt Cobain, James Hetfield, Elton John, Lars Erlch. <laughs> then we have Kirk Hammett and Duff McKay. Pretty cool. Actually, if you guys don't know, Kirk Hammett is a really big fan of Funko, and they actually had, I don't know if this has happened already, if they were going to, have a raw, a thing at the Royal Ontario Museum where he had his own figures, and he was supposed to be dressed up like um, the creature from the Black Lagoon, and what was the other one? <sighs> Frankenstein. Anyways, guys, so let's pick out a sticker for Noah, and I think we're going to keep going. Yeah, I just, I just thought we'd come over here to see what they had. As we're leaving Guitar Center, guys, I found a giant banana in the car next to us, and it's parked way too close, so I guess, hey, this is a bad park job guy. Anyways, let's keep going. Bye, banana. All right, guys, we are now at the Boulevard Mall, so let's go in to FYE and Hot Topic. And there's a small kind of bookstore that sells old wacky wobblers, so let's see if they still have any. All right, guys, we made it to FYE, so let's go in and see if we can get some Pez, because that's what I'm looking for today. I heard it was buy one, get one 50, but I don't know if that's still on, but uh, we're going to look around. All right, guys, so we are over in the back here, and uh, they've got a bunch of really cool ones. So I did notice this one here. They do have the Batman 80th anniversary. This is a first appearance Batman, which I'm going to be picking up today. I was going to get it at Comic-Con, but they never did. Um, they do have Mr. Hanky back here. I saw... Um, what else do we got? I saw another one that's pretty, like, random. They have uh, Alita, uh, Alita on Battle Angel. They have the FYE exclusive one. That's really neat. Now, I also saw they have King Deadpool still. This is such a random one. But I also noticed that they do have the Blue Peep Bunny, so I'm going to be getting that one, Mom. I've been looking for this one. I was going to order it online, but then I thought, why not just go in and get it, because I knew they'd have it. So there it is right there. Um, so I'm going to be getting two things. Here's the pricing for everything, guys. They put that out, which I've never seen before, so if you guys want to see that right there. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Like, if I see any, like, Chase ones or random figures that I don't see that often, I did notice that they have the Carmen Sandiego Diamond Edition in the, at the uh, counter. But I don't know if I'm going to pick that one up today. Um, they do have the Fugitive Predator exclusive right there. Now, here are the vinyls. They've got, like, Harley Quinn, Joker, Moana. Um, we've got the Rudolph and Herm Hermie. I said Hermione. What's um, that Hermie. cute thing, A.T.? Which one? That gremlin thing. Oh, no, this is... Okay, I've seen this before. So this yeah. is the it, this one here. Yeah. It comes with the movie, and then it comes with both figures. Gorgeous. But you know the thing is, I never see stripes anymore. This is like... It's a retired figure. That's yeah, cute. Um, but you, you can only... two boxes. Yeah, somebody found the, the glow-in-the-dark chase one out of this one time. Really um, so it's a really good deal for it. But yeah. uh, I'm not going to be getting that today, I don't think. This has been here for forever. Um, but yeah, they do have some cool stuff down here. I don't see, you know what I don't see, Mom, is your Dumbo one. I know. I already Kinda know. Kind of sad. I will take a picture um, of Wait, 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 hold on. What's this? Ooh. I did want you to get that one, actually. He-Man and Trap Jaw. Yeah. This is, well, you want it. It is, an, it is a nice one, though. But you know why, though, no. Mom? Masters of the Universe, Funko may or may not have lost their license. I'm not sure. I know. But uh, they might have. I'm still holding out for my Dumbo. I know. Well, maybe we'll see it at Hot Topic. You never know. Mm. Sorry, I'm just looking through these for a second. I think it's maybe. Who's this here? Oh, wait, I'm gonna guess Harry and lunch Hagrid. Box. Nope. Box. Box lunch. lunch. Did you just say lunchbox? <laughs> I thought that's what it was called. Okay, let me. See. All right, guys. So there's everything. I think that's it for here. Oh, I need sitting stitch. Actually, this is one that I could get. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it today because it's a little thing, but, but uh, I do need sitting stitch for my collection. Also, I noticed they have Captain Crunch down here, and they've got Big Boy. Um, but that seems to be about it for the stuff that I've been looking for here. I'm probably going to get those two pops. I also want to look around for Pez. Um, I haven't seen any yet, uh, but I'm sure there's a section for it now. So let's dig around and see what else we can find. Oh, they have the Angus Young FYE exclusive. Where is he? There. Maybe. Maybe. Guys, over here is the Pez. Um, I think I have everything here. I'm um, now that I'm looking at it, but yeah, I did find some, so that's neat. But uh, yeah, nothing, nothing that I don't already have. So maybe Hot Topic will have some new stuff. You never know. So, guys, we ran into a small Dumbo section over here, and guess what we found? The Dumbo vinyl. Look at how big it is compared to Timothy, eh? Dumbo and Timothy. I love it. There we go, guys. Pretty neat. So, anyways, now let's go. Okay, guys. So, hold on. Let me say one more thing. There are pops behind the counter. Hold on. And I want to pick one up from behind the counter because they are um, pretty cool figures. They're like the newer stuff that has just come in. So, maybe I'll get something over there. Um, I don't know. They have like Angus Young, and they have a couple Diamond Edition ones of Carmen San Diego, like I said earlier. Um, but I'll look, see what they've got. Maybe I'll pick something up because it is 75% off then. So anyways, let's keep going. Here's the other little Disney section. Bullseye, Stitch again, Mufasa, Underminer, Dash, Slinky Dog, Mrs. Nesbitt, Mufasa again, uh, Slinky Dog again, Patty, Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Sorry, I don't remember. Mayonnaise. Anyways, um, but then over here, guys, we also have Woody with RC, which I've already picked up, but still really cool to see over here. Okay, guys, so next up we're going in here because they do have a couple bobbleheads and some pops. So let's go in. They have pop teas? Do they? Okay, I'll, I'll come over in a second. Okay, guys, so over here, I do see some pops for five bucks. Um, and this looks like stuff that was over at Hot Topic, but still, um, pretty cool. We do have some ones from like uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass. They've got Zorn, Alien, Edward Cullens. And then they do have some pretty cool um, dorbs over here. I do see this one from Captain America Civil War. Um, I don't see like the older wacky wobblers and stuff, though. Maybe those have been moved to another spot. Um, I'll look around, see if I can find those, but for now, that's some pretty cool stuff back here. Toys R Us as well. It's pretty neat. Here is some of the um, other wacky wobblers up here. I think we have both of these ones. Well, not Kylo Ren, but this is the Stormtrooper for sure, I think. No, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, then there is Darth Vader, but that's the one that we have. Um, but yeah, because they do have some other random figures up here that are pretty neat. Some rock candies down there, some other like vinyl vixens and that, but uh, nothing that I'm too into or looking for today, so I think I'm going to keep digging around, though. All right, guys, so we found the Wacky Wobblers, and they actually have both Rock'em Sock'em Robots. They have Red Rocket and Blue Bomber. I don't know if I'm going to be getting those, but they are Funko. Um, and then they have some... Oh, they have Garfield, Mom. Is this one Funko? Let's check it real quick. I always check the bottom. Yes, it does. It says a Funko product. $19.99. Ooh. Okay, guys, so I'm thinking I might get one of these. They also have some in box. Like the ones in the box. Usually the ones with the names on the bottom are the Funko ones. Um, this is Funko. That's Funko. I've been kind of looking through these, see what they've got. I believe Terminator is as well. Let's check that. Uh, not that I know. It doesn't say, but these ones are for sure. Touche Turtle and Wally Gator. Are. I like Wally Gator. But just because they're in box doesn't mean they're worth more. No, actually. but they're just nice in the box. I know, I understand. The, this one's from Funko. You guys can see the old Funko yeah, logo on the bottom yeah. there. What year is this one? Does it say? I don't know if it says in this one. It's a good one. Hmm. Anywho, guys, very cool. Um, but yeah, that's the stuff over here. I really want to get the Garfield one. It doesn't have a price on it, but I think it's really neat. Oh, it's $14.99. I really like the Garfield one. I like it though. No, it looks nice. Anyways, guys, uh, maybe we'll surprise you guys at the end which one I get. All right, guys, we're now over at Hot Topic, so let's go in and see what's new. Okay, so I ran into the new glow-in-the-dark Captain Marvel. Now, she's got a little box in her hand with it inside. Can you guys see that there? It's really hard to see. I'm trying to get a good... There we go, guys. That's a nice shot. Anyways, thought this was cool. I'm not going to pick it up today, um, but it is really neat to see. Pretty neat. Okay guys, so here's the new Genie with Lamp, which is the glitter version. That's pretty neat. There it is right there. It's got some nice glitter to it. Actually, I was thinking of picking this one up, but I just got the glow in the dark one, so I don't know about this one. But they do have Jaguar, which I just recently picked up as well. Ryan, you should pick this one up. Because you're trying to fish a Rick and Morty set. They've got Karath over here, and I did notice the Pocket Pops and Pez, they did get in Ron Weasley and Hermione. Now all I need, if I pick these two up, which I will be, is Luna. I don't think it shows it anywhere on it, but there is Luna. That's the last one I need with the glasses on and everything. They have Mary Poppins, Elrond. And they do have this one down here, which is the Batman from the uh, Spring Conventions exclusives from Emerald City Comic Con. Pretty neat, actually. Um, they have the Snowball uh, Funko. <laughs> I like how it says Snuffles up there, too. I'm going to get some really cool stuff. The, the uh, cereal. Now, we do over here, guys, have Waddles, Hula Lilo, Chupacabra, Superman. Oh, what else do I see, though? There's a bunch of other stuff up top here. 
Um, I don't think the exclusives are up there, but they do have Nacho Libre. That's pretty neat. But other than that, guys, I think I'm just going to be picking up the two Pez today. Um, and let's keep going. I'll let you know if they say anything else, too. All right, guys, so we are 10 minutes before they close, but let's go into GameStop. I'm looking for the Wolverine Pez because that's the last one I need, so let's go in. Hey, guys, so we are over here in the pop section now. They do have a bunch of stuff, but it's a lot of stuff that we saw at the other store. Um, so I'm not going to go too into detail with it, but they do have some Wee Bear Bears ones. Um, some other stuff over here. They have some of the cereals. Now, I do see the Pez over here, and guess what, guys? There's one missing there. That's weird because you know why? It was Luna. So now we got the entire set today. Um, this is one that I was looking for. I'm still looking for the X-Men of Wolverine. I don't see it. I did see this one back here, um, but that's Beast again. So the last one I'm missing now from that is Wolverine. I don't think they'll have it anywhere else that we're going tonight. Um, so it's cool. We still got a couple. I did get Luna, which is a really cool one. This is one that a lot of people wanted me to get. I never got the pop, um, so I can get this. Raya's the pop, of course, so he'll bug me about that one. Um, but they do have some cool stuff. Look at that. Come on. This is pretty funny. That one's nice. And then they also have this up here, too. I saw this one at EB Games one day, but that's a really cool one. Um, what else do I see? Oh, they have some pops over here. They have Britney Spears, General Ram again, Bo Peep, um, Ric Flair. They do have some of the un ultimate unboxing boxes. And we're going to be opening these up on the channel soon. Um, so guys, get excited about those. These are Funko. I believe, yeah, they are Funko on the bottom. So I'm going to be opening up four of these, two purple and two green. Um, we did pick up four of them, so get excited about that. Probably sometime this weekend I'll open them up. Uh, but anyways, guys, other than that, that seems to be about it for here. Um, they do have Aquaman over here as well. So anyways, guys, let's keep going. All right, guys, so I think this is the last stop of the night, but this is Target. And if you guys are wondering, it, it has been getting... Do you remember when it used to get dark super early? Yeah. Now it's getting darker later. It and pretty nice and it, you know what the problem is, though? It's bothering me that it's getting darker later because I was like, oh, we have a couple hours. Then Maybe we look at it. It was, it was like 8.50, 8 and we just made it into GameStop. Yeah. So it feels it's like it, it feels like it's like 6.30, though. Yeah, super um, anyways, super. I'm rambling. Let's just go into Target and see what they've got. All right, guys, so we are over in the back here, and I do see some stuff that I don't see at my normal... Um, Target. I do see this down here, Cam and Mitch. I did want to pick this one up because I thought this would be a good one to pick up instead of the normal one. But I don't know if I'm going to get it today because I do get a lot of stuff. So we're probably going to skip on this for now. They do have the 10-inch Jack-Jack. They've got a couple other ones down here that I'm noticing. Um, some random dinosaur pot, I guess. Um, what else we got over here? Janet Van Dyne unmasked. We've got some of the ones from Big Mouth. We've got Nick down here. Um, what else do I see? Just some other random pops that are kind of normal. And then I do see this over here. The Rick and Morty cereal includes the Morty, not actual size, but still. Uh, it's a pretty cool one. Now they do have the Burger Suit 11 still. That's pretty neat. That's the Target exclusive. Um, but other than that, that seems to be about it for this section. So I think I'm going to dig around and see what else I can find. Over here, guys, behind the counter, they have Twinkie the Kid, Chili Willy with Pancakes, Daenerys Tigerian, and then this only at Target Box Captain Marvel. It's not Funko, so I'm not going to get it, but still, neat stuff. All right, guys, so we are over in our second Target because, you know, on the way home, there is the closer Target to um, near the border. So what we're doing is now I'm going over to the pop section again. Also, while we're in the parking lot, we have a good story about, like, this weird guy coming up to us. And um, he was, like, asking us for help. And it was really odd. And then my mom was like, no. And then he go it started coming closer. And she was pumping gas. So I was like, the closer he got, the we couldn't leave because we were hooked up to the gas. And then so the guy goes, I don't want money. And then my mom was like, no. And then he walked away. But then he tried stopping two ladies that we talked to in the parking lot as well. And it was really odd. Like, then we saw two police cars circling around. So we went over to go tell them that they went, that he went that way. Nark! And that's who they came to look for. So it was really odd. I don't know, some strange man in the parking lot. Uh, but anyways, let's get to happier things. Let's go over to the pop section and see what they've got. I'm hoping for some cool uh, figures today. Like, they didn't have any really great ones at the other store. So let's see what they've got here. All right, guys. So here we are. Um... Looks like just the normal stuff that we see all the time. <laughs> what? Bulbasaur. Nice. Jeez, look at that. Oh, he's all zoomed in. Hold on. Look at that. We got a Bulbasaur. Oh, I'm catching this one for sure. Well, you know, got to catch them all. Why not doubles for these ones? I wanted to do a prize pack where I gave away one of each. And now that we've got this one, I've got my two so I can finally give them away. That'll be awesome. Nice. Okay, there we go, guys. Maybe we'll do a Pokemon giveaway soon. Because now I've got double Pikachu and double Bulbasaur. So maybe that can be our 125,000 giveaway. If you guys want to help me get to that quicker, we can do their Pokemon giveaway then. Um, but yeah, great that we came. Anyways, let's keep looking around. 
In case you guys are wondering, over in the 30% off clearance section at like the end of aisles, or maybe if it's in the aisle, they have the Loungefly and Funko. Well, Funko owns Loungefly now. Cuphead blanket for $9.98. That's the blanket there. And then they have the DC Primal Age lunchbox for only $8.38. Not too shabby. All right, guys, so we are back from the store now, and I want to show you what we got. So we got a lot of really cool stuff. Let's start with the first thing that I got, which this will be a video for later on. Maybe we can do it for tomorrow's video if you guys want me to, because I don't even know what's in these. But this is the Funko um, and GameStop Ultimate Unboxing Box. That's literally the perfect title for me. Um, so here it is right here, guys. You can see it, Ultimate Unboxing Box. Then on this side, we've got Ultimate Unboxing Box as well. It is a $30 value for $10. So, you know, if Funko were to normally price this stuff out at GameStop, it would be around $30, and you get it for $10. So we will be pricing out all of this stuff, too, um, when we open them up. We got that one, we got this one, and then we got two of each of them, actually. So inside of here, there's, like, pops and mystery minis and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see the videos on these, um, let me know. We bought four. Um, and it was like 40 bucks for all of this and we'll price it out to be, it will price out each one to see how much you get for it and then we'll price out um, all four of them together to see if you make even more money that way. I don't know, maybe. Um, but anyways, they should be all worth about 30 bucks, but still I want to see for myself to see if they're worth $30 or more. So anyways, if you guys want to see these soon, let me know. I'll do that for sure. That may be tomorrow's video if you guys want to see that. Um, because these do look pretty cool, and um, they've got a nice box to it. They're pretty neat. I like them a lot. And they are Funko. Like, the box literally says Funko right on it. You guys can see down here. If you guys want to check these out, maybe uh, screenshot that, send the barcode to, or check out the barcode at your uh, local GameStop and see what happens. But yeah, we just ask them about it, guys. Ultimate Unboxing Box. They just came out today. Some stores had got them in last week, but mine just got them in this week, so really awesome. But let's get into the next thing that we've got here, which is we went over to FYE, I guess. We tried Hallmark. They didn't have anything, sadly. Um, I was really annoyed by that. But it's okay. They're coming out, I think, Monday or tomorrow. Sunday or Monday. I'm not exactly sure, but it shouldn't take too long, so we'll be fine. Um, but anyways, I did get some other stuff, though, which I will show you guys. Starting with the three pops that I got over at FYE. First off being the first appearance Batman I'm really excited about this one. This is to go with Batman's 80th anniversary, um, and this is it right here. It actually is really nice because the blacked out box, if you guys, I don't know how I can show you it. This part here is matte, and then this is like, like kind of like uh, shiny. Can you guys see that when it goes over it? And you see how it gets like matte and then shiny and then matte again. I don't know, it's really cool. It's just like the uh, gold foil on the um, gold chrome boxes. It's same with this here. Whatever's the background is kind of like flat, and then this part's really shiny. Um, so really awesome pop. I've been super excited about look. I've been looking for this one, I mean, and then I was super excited to find it today. So there we go. The other ones that I got are the Blue Peep. Now I finally got it. I was going to order it online, but I just got it in stores. I think it was like 10 bucks for this. Not even that bad. Um, and then the last one that I got, which was only one behind the counter, was Hellboy. Um, the only thing is, is this box is a little up and down like this. But what I'm going to do is just put them on the shelf. Some pop will crush it back down and fix it to make it flat. Um, but they had just got this one in, the guy said. So I was super excited about getting this one. If you guys want to see a review on this, um, let me know because I can do that. Um, of course, it's a really cool pop. Um, I don't know if this, this is to go with the new Hellboy movie coming out. Um, and it's pretty exciting, actually. I like this figure a lot. Um, and I'm pretty excited about getting this one. So anyways, guys, there's that right there. This is the three things I got over at FYE. It was buy two, get one 75% off. So not that bad. But anyways, guys, let's get into the next thing that we grabbed. We grabbed a lot today, actually. Um, some rant, like, we, we went to a different spot than we normally go to, so just a bunch of random stuff. Um, but let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, guys, so this is the last thing we picked up. I'll just show this one off now. Okay, guys, so there's Bulbasaur right here. Very cool figure. Um, this is my second one, but I want to do a giveaway with this, because now I have two Bulbasaurs and two Pikachus, so I want to do a Pokemon giveaway for maybe 125000 If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, we can for sure do that if you guys want to see it, or if you guys want to get win some uh, nice uh, pops from that. Now let's get into some other stuff that I got. So over at Hot Topic, I picked up a couple Pez. I got Hermione Granger, um, which is a pretty cool one. And then, so now I actually completed the entire set um, for these ones. We got Ron Weasley. This, these are the ones in the sorting hats. I like that they put them in their sorting hats just because it gives them a little more, uh, you know, I guess a little more to the character because it's just a head. Um, here we've got Luna Lovegood. That one's a really cool one. I like that one a lot. Um, this one was the one that, I, that was actually the last one and hardest one to find because we went to a couple stores and they didn't have them. Now, 
The other one, now I'm going to say this. I did, actually, I'll show you the two uh, Harry Potter ones first. Um, we got Dobby right here, which is a pretty cool one. And then we also got, like I said earlier, Harry Potter. Um, so we got the entire set of um, Harry Potter Pez. I know they're kind of slipping here, but there they are right there. Super excited about these ones. I especially like the Luna one because it's a pink base instead of the rest of the other one. Now, <laughs> I found out that I already have this one, I think. Maybe I don't. I think I do, though. It's Beast. Um, I think I have Beast. I'd have to look around. I don't know if I do or not. But um, I'm going to check into this one. I think I do. I don't see it out or around anywhere. Um, but I think I already have this one. But it's Beast. But I grabbed it just in case. Because I wasn't sure. Um, you, guys are prob you guys probably know more than I do. Um, but anyways, that's, that's it for the Pez that I got. So let's move these guys out of the way. So I can show you the last thing that I got. Which is a Wacky Wobbler. I was super excited about getting this one. Um, I got this one over at the, I don't even know what that store's called, honestly. It's in the Boulevard Mall, um, and it's just like, it's like a small store that sells like a lot of really cool, like, random things. Like, they sell a lot of books in the front, and in the back it's like a lot of collectibles and stuff and comics. Um, but anyways, guys, the Wacky Wobbler that I ended up picking was Wally Gator. Um, I got this one because it was in box. I wanted to get the Rock'em Sock'em Robots, but then my mom was like, well, they're out of box. And I was like, yeah, I know, but they looked really cool. And they wobbled at the body, so they kind of, like, bopped around like this. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. But I got this one. This one, I, can't, I don't even know what year it's from. Do I have something to pop this open with? Because it's really, it's like, you got to be careful with these things because of how old they are. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if this has ever been opened. Let's see if I can pop this open just for a second. Yeah, I got it pretty good. Okay, so let's just slide this out to see. This must have been a newer-ish one because it is the, um, the what's it called? The new kind of way of doing them with the uh, insert. Let's see what it says on the bottom, though. Uh, it doesn't even say. Why doesn't this thing say at all? Anyways, guys, here is Wally Gator. I don't know why the, there's no date on this anywhere. There's usually always a date. It does say a Funko product, which I think is pretty cool. Hey, what is that? You forgot this one. Which one? I don't know. One of the boxes that you got today. You don't want it? In the video? Not for this video. <laughs> That's for another video. Well, she's spoiling another video. Okay, well, you didn't see it. That's Wait. for an Emerald City Comic Con unboxing. No, that's the... No, no, no. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, we're saving that one. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. We can't show this one off now. Noah, be sure if we show anything, blur it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to blur, so... Yeah. Um, I'm showing Wally Gator, but look at this, Mom. So I'm trying to find the year on it. Him. Look, come here. I'm try Since she ruined the video as it is, um, I'm trying to find the year, and it doesn't say on the bottom. Hmm. But I do really like the Wally Gator out of box. So. Yeah, look, it, but I do I think that's him. cool. You know what it oh, says? you know what? He's more hollow than I thought he was. But you know what else is cool? Um, I guess mm. Bailey's coming up too. Mm. It's got one of those new inserts. You know how they used to do them with twist ties? This mm -hmm. must have been like one of a newer ish ones. Um, we can Google it. Yeah, I'll find out what year it is, guys. We'll post it on Instagram or something if you guys want to follow it's me at really Top Box cute. YT. Um, it was my idea to get it. Yeah, well, I wanted to get Garfield, but Garfield's name was rubbed off a bit. I don't think it's super old, but I just no, think I don't it's think so either. Cool. I have Shiva, which is one of their first ever products. Yeah, we're on the lookout for those. Yeah. Ones. Anyways, Thank guys, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Sorry. video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, Sorry subscribe. Also, if you guys want to see what that package is eventually, subscribe to the channel because that's going to be coming up soon. But anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.